shaman do their DMT and the uh, psilocybin and all those kind of practices, um, they're trying to become or take on the, the skill of the plant. Uh, that's the idea, is to see what the plant sees and know what the plant knows. Uh, it's not to have a drug trip. You know, it's, not, it's not to just have fun or you know do something like that. It's a very sacred experience and shouldn't be wasted on you know, certain things. I'm not judging anybody. I'm just, I just know that some people just use it and some people don't use it. Right? So uh, when the shaman do it, they do it for good reason. Like, you know, why would you contact God or God inside of your body? Um, he thinks like, you're very responsible. I give you everything to know what is right to do and what is not right to do. But when you really need my help, I'll give you an answer. You just come and ask me. So the shaman know like when their heart resonates with something, it's telling them, oh, this is what you need to do. This is what you need to do. But when they have a very important life-changing decision, uh, changes changes in direction in their life, something they're really not sure, they want to go knock on God's door and go ask, like, show me something. You know, I don't need a full answer. Just, just give me a little hint. And that's that's when they that's when they reach for the DMT, the psilocybin, the peyote, and those things. It's never meant to just get in a big circle with everybody all happy and just like, freak out, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's, it was to, you know, like somebody have life uh, illness and they need to get over something, and then the, uh, what's what the access inside will show them. This is what you need to get over. This is your demon. This is the one to fight. This is what you have to overcome. And so, you know, uh, I don't, I don't see so much the importance of that, but the practicalness of uh, that a human being can be anything, that it can try to become an animal, and it could become exactly like an animal. It's too easy. Becoming like a plant is also a little too easy. But uh, you know, those are chemicals that are naturally produced inside of your brain. So. Why not make your brain produce those chemicals? On a good day, you could have just about enough chemical to fire, right, and, and give you that kind of experience. Maybe through sleep deprivation or something like that. But you can't do it every day, right? You gotta build up that chemical. Uh, then you have to wait for chemical to build, right? And then you gotta do it again. So the, the old Taoist Tibetan formulas is to stimulate your body to produce the chemical and you call the call your psychic ability out. How you call your psychic ability out is you use it all the time. You consult your heart all the time. You ask yourself all the time, what is it, what is the best for me? Which one do we want? Which one should we do? Should we take this class? Should we watch this past midnight? You know? <laughs> what shall we do? <laughs> and your heart will tell you this is what you're supposed to do. Now, as you use those chemicals sparingly and you use those chemicals wisely, your brain will will create the amount of glands and you will evolve, you will create the amount of glands that will supply that chemical more and more um, regularly. But you take the, the plant, you take the plant and the plant uses up all the chemical in your brain and you use the plant, then you try to take it the next day, you're not going to feel anything. It's because you used up all the chemical. It's not going to make your body produce that chemical. You have to make your body produce that chemical by need, right? You have to show it. I'm using this. You you make this chemical for me. You change my brain and you, you show, you know, I'm showing you I need this chemical. You you, um, you give me this chemical every day and I'll use it sparingly every day, but I'm using it. That's why I say you hold 90%, you wield 5%. If you can wield 5, you can have that ability every day, all day. You don't have to be growing one little plant from this big to like 70 feet and trying to make it thick like this, you know. Uh, the, the plant is only showing you one, one type of vision. And it's maybe important to, you know, to see what that is so you know where to go. But it's the finger pointing to the moon. It's not the moon. So that's what I think about those plants. You know, I'm not against taking the plants. I know the skill of the plants, I understand how the plants work, but I understand how the body works, the mind works, so that's, that's how I feel about it. I don't want to 
wanted to say more about that. Uh, what he asked about the DMT is you know, also about, you know, we're borrowing, right? We borrow earth energy. We don't have to. We can access it inside ourselves. We're a universe too. We can access heaven energy and we can access that DMT, psilocybin, whatever we want. Uh, but, you know, I was talking about trying to grow a plan from this small to super big. You know, um, you know, in that time that you invested, you could have invested in yourself, right? All that time you're cultivating this little plant, you could have been living it inside your own head. You could have had it permanently. So what you're trying to say is um, invest in superheroes. <laughs> <laughs>